Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through transaction states. So totally there are five transaction states guys. Active, partially committed, committed, failed, aborted. Fine? Okay, so we'll be going through one after the other. Don't worry. Okay, so let us assume few transactions which we will be which will be going in this way, guys. Okay, so basically a transaction started, its execution started and its partial execution is done, and it went to committed state. Committed is nothing but the transaction completed successfully without any problem. So this will be our direct flow. Our first line is done. So after that, let us assume that from an active state, it the part after partial commit after partial execution. It, it failed its execution. So in the middle, it faced some issues and it went to failed state. Okay, so till that moment, the commit commi the transaction till where it is done, it is committed, guys. So that the transaction till that point is a saved at it's it saved in our database. Fine. Okay, so in that situation, if it fails, so the only option whenever you abort it, so if it will be failed and it will be stored in your failed log. So you need to delete it, right? So deleting or it is stopping it permanently without for any further execution. So it is nothing but your abort. Fine. So you'll be passing it here. So directly without starting only we can face this failure issue or in between also we can fa face this failure issue. So in two ways we will be entering into this failure and from failure the only option will be abort. From abort we will be ending it and from commit also we will be ending it. So I hope everyone is now clear with the diagram that we have just drawn how we will be assuming initially assume only the top three and after that you'll be assuming this bottom okay so now let us go through the definitions of individual states we have discussed already so let us go through the points directly active in this state the transaction is being executed so it started execution there in active states so this is the initial state of any transaction or every transaction so every transaction if it is a transaction it should start someday or some time so it starts and it, it enters into some other position. So partially committed. When a transaction executes its final operation, it is said to be partially executed. Fine. Failure. A transaction is said to be failure state. If any of the transaction checks made to be failed in the database. So the comparison between these two has failed or any kind of technical issue. Okay. About it. If any of the checks fails when we are checking with the database values and our values, if they do not match or it fails the transaction has reached a failure state so then the recovery manager tool will be going through this in the next unit guys don't worry so we'll be using a recovery manager tool ro to roll back the whole things that we did so let us assume we started transaction one here we did read write and everything so here we have occurred an error so we'll be restarting the transaction from the start we'll be roll backing to the first position and we'll be restarting it so that's the only option which we will be having when it is aborted guys so about it is nothing but ended so it's lifetime or it has ended its uh, service fine so committed if a transaction executes all its operations successfully and its data is stored in our database then we will be saying as our transaction is committed so i hope everyone got a small idea on all the five states that we have discussed till now so in the next tutorial we'll be going through the schedulers guys so basically this schedulers will help the parallel execution or the series execution of our transactions so, or how the transaction should execute these things are decided by this schedulers so i hope everyone got a small idea so in the next tutorial we'll be going through them guys thank you thanks for watching